in this week's Stink Bike Academy. At 178 centimetres, I'm bang in the middle between a medium and a large. I downsize to a medium because my arms are a bit shorter compared to my legs. The TRP DHR Evo brakes, faultless, from day one. Easy to set up, easy to bleed. The mullet setup was pretty good actually, but there was one thing let it down. Constantly striking the pedals. Do I not like that? Switching to the full 29er almost completely eliminates that. The EU bureaucrats have restricted e-bikes in those markets to 15 miles per hour. Obviously people are just going to die the minute they go over 15 miles per hour. It's actually dangerous, that speed limit. And a real pain to try and cycle through it. I tried a few different rear mudguards and the mud hugger seems to be the best of the lot for me. It seems to offer the best protection for both me and the bike. That's his job. On the fork I've gone with the Fox 38 XL mudguard and it's been perfect from day one. The E2 in size medium comes with a 350 pound spring. I went with a 450. I have since tried 500 and 550. Not sure which one to stick with. Probably the 550. That said, it's a lot heavier than what I'm supposed to be riding on. Because I no longer run the Marin wheels in the mullet setup, I'm now running my Silt 29ers. My bike came equipped with Max's Askei Max Grip on the front. And I didn't really dislike it, but at the same time I never warmed to it, so I've replaced it with a Continental Argotol Downhill Tire. Soft compound, not super soft. On the rear of my bike was a 2.8 Maxxis Minion DHR2. It was just too wide, I kept catching rocks and roots and everything on it. So when I went away from the mullet to a full 29er, I put on Pretty lightweight, Maxxis Minion DHR2, but in a 2.4, that was much better, really like that tyre, but it was a bit lightweight, so I've decided to change to a Continental Crypto Tile, soft compound, Enduro casing. So far I have not been able to get out to test the Crypto Tile, but I expect it to perform very well. I got an adapter from Cycle Solvers for a bottle cage and a specialised bottle cage side loader. Both are good. Do you have any regrets? No. Are you thinking of buying a Marin e-bike? Like it. It's just a thing of beauty.